Hey guys, welcome to CodeShift's YouTube channel. The problem that we are going to discuss today is programming languages. The problem appeared in August 21 lunchtime and has a difficulty level of cakewalk. There are no prerequisites to solve this problem. The problem statement goes as follows. Chef has to use a language with two given features A and B. Now he has two options. Either he can use a language one that has features A1 and B1 or he can use a another language that has features A2 and B2. It is also given that all these four integers A1, B1, N and A2, B2 are pairwise distinct. That is they are all distinct numbers. Now we have to tell chef whether he can use the first language or the second language or neither of them uh, to fulfill his task. So the information given to us will be the integers A and B. After that the the integers will be a1 and b1 after that the integers will be a2 and b2 so all these numbers will be given as input for one single test case so these are total six integers and we can have multiple such test cases for each test case we have to output one if the answer is that using first language chef can accomplish his task the answer will be two if using second language uh, chef can accomplish his task or else the answer will be zero that is neither of them are working so the answer is going to be zero so let's understand the same using a sample test case so you can see in the sample out, uh, input output that there are three test cases for the first test case the requirements are feature one and two so clearly the first language has the same feature that is two and one so using first language chef can accomplish his task in the second test case, the required features are 3 and 4. So using the second language, it, has, it also has the features 3 and 4, that is A2 and B2. So using them, he can accomplish his task. The answer is going to be 2. Now in the third test case, the required features are 1 and 2. So here you can see that in the first language, there are features 1 and 3. And in the second language, there are features 2 and 4. So Although you can see that features 1 and 2 are present over here, they are not present in the same language. So in this case, the answer is going to be 0. That is, neither of these languages are helping chef. So this is pretty much the question. Now, how are we going to implement the same? Simply, we are going to check if the feature A matches with A1 and along with that, the feature B, if it matches with B1, this is one case. The if we swap the features, how, how will it look? A equals B1 and B equals A1. So this is if this condition is satisfied in this case, our answer is going to be 1. Similarly, if you replace A1 by A2 and B1 by B2 in this statement, the answer is going to be 2. Why? In that case, our features, required features A and B are matching with A2 and B2. So in that case, the answer is going to be 2. If A and B are matching with A1 and B1, in that case, our answer is going to be 1. Or else, simply by default, the answer is going to be 0. So the question was pretty much very easy. In fact, it was of cakewalk level. Now let's quickly see the implementation in C++. So the implementation goes as follows. We take the input for number of test cases. Then for each test case, we have six variables and we take their input as follows. A, B, A1, B1, A2 and B2. Six integers input we have taken. By default, the answer is zero. Uh, if neither of the language matches, then I check the condition. If A and B matches A1 and B1, in that case, my answer is going to be language one. If A and B matches with a2 and B2, in that case, my answer is going to be 2. Or else, by default, the answer anyways remains 0. So after checking this, these conditions, I simply output the answer and go to the next test case. So pretty much an easy question. I hope you guys understood the solution.